the manager is invaluable in building and leading a solid team. After all, he is the one who ultimately determines the tactics and the style of play of the club. We all know stories of teams with fantastic players, who couldn't perform as a perfectly functioning unit. That's why the coach is often the key to success at the highest level, with the best managers in the world knowing exactly what to do to get the best out of the players they have. Also knowing that realising this is essential to winning trophies. Unfortunately, sometimes the club owners are impatient when it comes to the team's results. The case of Leroy Rosinia is a perfect example. So that's why today we will discuss the story of Leroy Rosinia, the manager who was sacked after just 10 minutes. So let's get into it. So who are we talking about? Leroy Rosinia was born on August the 24th, 1964 in London. The Englishman, who also has Sierra Leone dual nationality, had a pretty decent football career, during which he played for teams including Fulham, Queen's Park Rangers, West Ham United and Charlton Athletic, also featuring for England at under 16 and under 21 levels, and gaining a single cap for the Sierra Leone national team. Rosinia approached the end of his playing career at Gloucester City, where he also spent time as a player manager. His managing career, however, wasn't as impressive. To begin, let's go back to 2007, when Rosinia was appointed as Torquay manager. Interestingly, it wasn't his first appointment at the club. Previously, the Englishman was in charge between 2002 and 2006. At that time, his greatest success was League One promotion. But going back to 2007, following a short spell as Sierra Leone's national team coach, Rosinia had returned to England and took up the managerial position at Torquay once again. The manager succeeded Keith Curl, but wouldn't even have time to make a cup of tea whilst in the job, after reportedly being sacked just 10 minutes after signing the contract. So it begs the question, why exactly did this happen? Well, having been taken over by a local consortium, the club decided to appoint a different manager, with Rosinia almost immediately succeeded by Paul Buckle, then of Exeter City. So that's how Leroy Rosinia became the infamous record holder of the shortest managerial reign in football history. In fact, in the record books, English football has its ranking of the shortest coaching stints. So we already know who's first place, but beyond that, having changed his mind after just 72 hours, Dace Bassett, the former Crystal Palace manager, ranked second. The third spot is taken by Martin Ling, sacked by Cambridge United after just nine days in 2009. Years later, Rosinia revealed his thoughts on the situation by saying this. The president called me, he said he was looking for a buyer of the club, but there was no manager. I was asked if I could attend the press conference. Later he called and confessed that he had sold the club during the conference. And with new owners, a new manager. So what is Rosinia doing today? The Englishman is actively fighting racism, which continues to be a big issue in football. Leroy often emphasises that clubs don't want to appoint black managers, so we here on the Football Fun Facts channel would like to wish him all the best. Well, that concludes today's video. And just a reminder, we're inviting all football fans to join the free browser game footballteamgame.com. Simply follow the link in the description. Apart from that, thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.